when I was about to eat something or whenever I go to the fridge or whenever I would think, what am I going to eat? I looked at it from like, what nutrients am I going to get from this? And how's that going to make me feel? 80-20. So 80% you're like focused on the nutrients and then 20% you're like, well, enjoy. <laughs> Life is, you know, right, right. you have to enjoy it. How did you get into, or have you always been into skincare? Like, is this a long time passion? Like, how did this come to be? Oh, so that, I mean, I got into health and wellness when I was younger because my mom was diagnosed with cancer in her spleen. And so as a family, we got even deeper into health and wellness. We thought we were pretty healthy growing up um, because my grandparents had like an organic vegetable patch and my grandma introduced me to noni juice when I was like 13 and she was drinking aloe vera. And then when my mom was diagnosed with cancer in her spleen, we were just like, hold up. We thought we were healthy, like we were eating the organic food. And then my mom got given this book called The Chemical Maze. And it just explained in layman's terms, kind of all of the ingredients that you might see on the back of packaged goods, kind of sometimes you see numbers, it will explain to you what that number meant. Um, and in large doses, could it be detrimental to your health? And this is why kind of thing. Um, whether it, you know, and, and that, so we had to look at everything we were using, uh, what we were like eating packaged goods, all of the household products, all of the skincare products, because of what you put on your skin soaks in. And that's why when you're pregnant, we're told to be really cautious and careful of what we're putting on our skin. Mm -hmm. But we should be concerned regardless. Like yeah. we should value ourselves just as much as we value our children. Absolutely. And so that's kind of where my, passion started for wanting to create something that was really pure and certified organic um and I wasn't able to find it so that's when I decided I wanted to like create it for myself and my family and then when we started getting great results like my mom actually had um rosacea on her skin just around here and around her nose and basically she was on a steroid cream and she was really embarrassed to kind of go out in public because her whole life she'd had great skin. And I gave her the Noni Glow face oil, which was um, one of our first products that we had made. And within a week, she was off the steroid cream wow. just using Noni Glow face oil. And it's never come back. Since. Oh, wow. That's amazing. So it was pretty wild. So we were like, OK, we want to. So at that point, I was like, I'm not going to just keep it for myself and my family. I want it to be able to be available to people worldwide. And then I thought, well, how am I going to do that? Because I don't want to compromise the quality of these products. So if I get uh, outside investors, sometimes people have different ways they want to do things, Absolutely. but I really want to do it as pure and as potent as it can be. So to this day, I still own 95% of the company and I have a 5% investor from day one. So I make all the decisions. I'm the CEO, the founder, the creative director, the person who writes all of the verbiage on the back of every package, who, you know, manages the whole team wow. of 60 people. And this is my baby girl. I have <laughs> three boys, but this is my baby girl. So, wow. yeah. Wow. And um, where is the company based? Well, we, I'm here. Yeah. And then we also, so we have, um, we just actually decided to, during COVID, we had to pivot to working from home. And then we got different team members all over America actually and it turned out to be at first because we had an office in Santa Monica mm -hmm. but then we ended up like at the time because of finance and whatnot we said it's not going to be the best investment when people are feeling afraid to come in town yeah. in into the office to continue to lease this office space and we started employing people kind of all over America which and is so awesome now we all work remotely in America cool but then we get together you know for meetings and whatnot and then in Australia, we have an office space and a warehouse. Oh, wow. So we have 30 people there and 30 people here. Cool. And then we have, you know, our different consultants that um, go and service all of the stores and our reps. And you said in that... In addition to those other people. Uh, that serum with your mom was one of the first products. The Noni Glow face oil. Yeah. So what, were, what was the impetus? Was there one thing that you were trying to solve that you created first? Or was it a few things at the beginning? Well, at first, I just wanted, like healthy products for your skin and it was interesting because back then not many people were using face oils like we were one of the very first 
face oils to come out. That was, I launched in 2009 in Australia. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. But I didn't launch here in America until 2017 because, as I said, it was my company. And to launch internationally and to expand into America was like a huge financial investment on my behalf. And I didn't want to compromise the quality. So I didn't want to have other people involved. So I, you know, I, I took the leap eventually and launched into America in 2017. Very cool. But it just started off as like a small little business in Australia in 2009. And it was doing extremely well. And it was like just my passion project. And then my husband actually said to me, uh, at like, maybe nine years ago, um, he was like, why don't you have your skincare line here? It's amazing. Because he was getting incredible results from using it. He has very dry skin um, and also sensitive skin. And I said, well, it would take a lot of money on my behalf to launch it here. And he's like, well, what are you waiting for? Like, you're spending all this time and money working for other people you need to invest in yourself. And I was like, yeah, but then I'm putting all my eggs in one basket. And he's like, well, if you don't do it, you'll never know. So yeah. he's like, he like gave me, he verbally gave me the confidence to like, just take that leap. Yeah. Whereas in the past, if I had spoken to people, they'd be like, oh, well, you just never know. And the skincare market is saturated. And what if it doesn't work? And people don't understand organics. And wow. I'm like, whoa. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Cause I would think, I, I mean, I've been an entrepreneur for 20 years. So for me, I always think you can, there's this old expression that says you live or die by your own sword. Like yeah. at least if it's you yeah. that you're like, well, I know how hard I'll work for myself, right? Mm -hmm. You're working so hard for all these other people. Mm -hmm. But if you are the one who's making the decisions, figuring it out, doing, you'll like benefit or you can, I, the idea of putting all your eggs in one basket, I actually think is makes more sense yeah than, with, than when you're putting them everywhere right yeah. right so <laughs> yeah because you're thin. like this has to work because i'm betting so much on this and i put so much heart and energy into it so yeah. i love that i think it's super inspiring how so many businesses begin with that sort of intention yeah and so it launched here in 2017 is there um parts of the business that you're like man we never thought that particular product was going to go the way that it did like is there one sort of all-star in the mix or it's the whole skincare line really oh no there are a few all-stars even though I think they're all stars because they're my babies <laughs> yes. and I literally every formulation I put my heart and soul into each one and I make sure that it's I'm more than 100% happy with it when we launch it but people go nuts for our Noni Glow face oil because it is like liquid gold it really helps your skin um it just like balances the pH of the skin and it sits beautifully underneath makeup. It helps with like super sensitive skin conditions and um, dry skin, even oily skin, it helps balance the pH. So that is a wonderful oil. It has like sea buckthorn, noni, rose hips. Is uh, it um, base or is it like your top, top layer? Oh, okay, cool. So I have it on now. Oh, cool. Um, but I have like underneath, I have all the other layers yeah which we can talk about yeah what are your layers so i'll tell you that but the other all-star product that i'm super proud of that no one expected to be an all-star product is our turmeric um two in one it's like a scrub and a deeply detoxifying mask in one it's like an instant facial in a tube and people once they try it they are hooked for life men and women <laughs> they literally like i've never introduced it to someone and they're just like oh my god like this is my holy grail product cool. and that is my baby because I remember speaking to the chemist. Well, first of all, I spoke to my team when we were having conversations about what products will we launch next because generally we do two to three products a year and we have to kind of limit. I have so many ideas, but I have to limit them because of cash flow reasons. And, yeah. you know, it's yeah, smart you have to, to be make smart a plan about it, yeah. and then you have a five-year plan of all your product innovation. And so we sit there and sometimes I'm like, oh, I really want to do this and – I'm the only one excited about it at the time. <laughs> and they're like looking at me like, what about this trend and, you know, this thing? And I'm like, I don't care about trends. Intuitively, I just feel like I need to do this. And that's what it was like with this turmeric scrub. I was like, I want to create basically a microdermabrasion scrub that you can use as a microdermabrasion scrub in the shower, you know, just to give yourself like a little quick refresh. Or you can use it as a deeply detoxifying mask, leave it on and 
let it pull out the impurities, then it dries and you feel it kind of like really stiff on your face, kind of like you can't move your face. And then you wash it off and then you feel like you've just had the best facial ever. So people use it in two different ways. I mostly, my husband and I use it as the microdermabrasion scrub because like I don't really have that much time to leave it sitting on my face just to be real. Like I just, I do sometimes if say for instance, the kids are asleep and my husband's at a work dinner, I'll get in the bathtub, I'll put it on my face, then I'll let it deeply, you know, dry. Sometimes I'll put it on like before I have a shower for 10 minutes or something and then I'll hop in the shower and then do that. But you do see like really crazy results if you do leave it on as a mask because it's got the turmeric, it has aspen bark, it has, um, so it has like natural purifying ingredients and anti-inflammatory and exfoliating and it's pretty amazing. Did you already know about those ingredients just in your own learning or was it more that you said I want something that's certified certified organic I want something that's calming something and then your team said okay here are 15 options like how do, how so do you the figure that out? okay so they're the ones that like I I say I knew I wanted it to include turmeric because I love turmeric and I believe in the internal and external beauty benefits of like powerhouse ingredients like the noni which is in every single product or kakadu plum which is the highest naturally occurring vitamin c and i'm really passionate about health and wellness um i studied at integrative nutrition so i am a certified health coach so i know about different yeah and i did another course recently that stanford was offering um through coursera on health and and wellness and i just continually want to learn more and more like about health and wellness and how we can be the best versions of ourselves and like be the healthiest versions of ourselves and like feel the best Mm -hmm. because when we feel the best we give our best and so how can we kind of look at everything holistically yes and that's my passion mind body spirit yeah definitely and i've tried to incorporate that into cora Mm -hmm. but that's like a whole nother layer (laughs) sometimes people like what are you talking about because i use crystals in the formulation like crystal filtration process and some products contain crystals. Then I have positive words of affirmation on the back of every product. We use aromatherapy instead of artificial fragrance. And it's like a whole thing. Yeah. But first and foremost, the products are certified organic. Yeah. And give you the results they need. Yeah. So you said you'd tell us your like lineup. Oh, the layers. Yeah. So in the morning or at night? Let's, let's do both. <laughs> okay. I'm a nerd enough to like care. I okay. love skincare. So in the morning, so when I wake up, I do like... This is like not really part of it, but it is part of it. Just like a little <laughs> meditation. And then I go and dry body brush mm-hmm. after I do that. So do you do that every day? Yeah. Okay. See, this is, okay. I, I'm going to ask a lot of questions because I'm not doing it every day, but I should Meditation? Be. Uh, dry brushing. Oh, dry brushing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because my husband wakes up at like 5 or 5.30. So it's between 5 and 5.30 that we're awake every day, depending on the schedule. Got it. And then the kids don't wake up. Lately, they've been sleeping till 7. Nice. So that's really nice. <laughs> yeah. Because they're now three and just turned five and 12. Okay. Because as soon as they wake up, they come running into my room and then it's all systems go and it's all about them. So I really value that time before they wake up. And I'm actually quite thankful to my husband for waking me up early because otherwise if he's not there (laughs) or if he's not waking me up, I would have been like snooze button. Right. Well, I always say if your kids wake you up, you're starting the day off on the wrong foot. Yeah. Because you're like you starting on defense. You're exactly. like, oh, you're okay. Like, yeah. It's yeah. better to like calm yourself and then go yeah. into mom mode. Yeah. So that's why I try to wake up, do a little 20 minute meditation, do my dry body brushing all over. That has been a lifesaver for okay. me. Energetically, I feel like you like, it's like obviously good for circulation and lymphatic drainage and like, they say it's great for cellulite um, and all of that, but energetically as well. Like if you've had a bad dream or something, yeah. you just like body brushing, yeah. it, oh, I'm brushing like, it away, it's gone. brushing away any bad energy, yeah. and just like restarting the day. I love it. And then um, I get in the shower, I cleanse my skin using our turmeric foaming cleanser, which contains uh, turmeric, obviously, and it has in there Palo Santo, nice, uh, which clears your energy and cleans your skin at the same time. It also has in there like. Um, and a sugar isomer. So basically when you're cleansing your skin, you're not stripping your skin. So it's mm. kind of like foaming cleanser without stripping, which is great. And you and it also has in there peppermint, 
to help control sebum levels. But in addition to that, the peppermint gives you this fresh burst of energy, mm. which I love aromatherapy for that. I literally in my handbag have some peppermint oil <laughs> because I'm addicted to peppermint yeah. oil and how so it and wakes you up. uplifting and energizing it is. I might actually have to put it yeah, on. Yeah, put it on. Put now it you've on. talked like, about it. I'm like, now I'm just like going to be it. thinking about it. So I keep it in here. Let me see. It's my new favorite thing. It's, um, should probably make some for Cora, but right now I'm using, um, that brand Sage, Sage, S-A-J-E. Hmm. This is called Peppermint Halo. Nice. This is one of my hacks. Oh, so you do it back here. You do it like behind your neck and kind of like around your ears. Nice. Oh, it's my earrings <laughs> jingling away. And you can do it on your temples. And then I put it on my hands like that, if you want some. Yeah. Yep. There. And then you just kind of like, <sighs> so good. Oh, that's nice. You don't mind if I put it on? Oh, no, I don't mind. Okay. Three deep breaths. <sighs> that to me is just like, it's so like energizing and grounding, but ethereal at the same time. It's so easy too. So easy. So easy. Anyway, so all of our products contain essential oils for their skin benefits and then also the sensory benefits. I'm yeah. very much like a sensory person. Yeah. And so a tactile person too. So you do the shower. Oh, yeah, sorry. We haven't even yeah. gotten past the shower. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I can talk I know, I'm genuinely curious. I'm like, what? No. So in the shower, we've got the foaming cleanser. Then I'll do the little bit of the turmeric scrub. Sometimes I mix the two together if I just want like a little light, light exfoliation, whereas my husband just like goes for the straight for the scrub. Yeah. Then we, we have a body wash, which is great for the whole family. I use that on myself. My husband uses that. Um, then I get out of the shower. And then I put the body lotion, the body oil all over my body. Do you do lotion, then oil? Yeah. Yeah. Body lotion, then oil. Um, and then, and I put it everywhere. It's really good. The body, the body oil is really good to prevent stretch marks, especially, and then when you're pregnant, I use it throughout my pregnancies. Cool. Um, to, yeah. And also helps with any stretch marks if you have any, it helps with like scarring and stuff because cool. of the rosehip oil in there. Um, and then on my skin, I mist my face with the minty mist. It's the minty mineral mist, which is great to like prep your skin for the next steps. And it also has Palo Santo and peppermint in there because nice. I'm addicted. <laughs> and it has a little aquamarine crystal in the actual bottle. Um, and then I put on the vitamin C serum, which is, it contains kakadu plum and acerola cherry and, um, lemon peel ferment and orange peel ferment and it really helped me with so much with pigmentation mm. i don't know about you but every time i got pregnant i got lo like really dark pigmentation yeah it was just like boom and i was like whoa <laughs> what just happened so i was able to use my vitamin c serum throughout the last two pregnancies because that's i didn't have it available the first pregnancy and it just saved my skin helped brighten the pigmentation so much it um it's won multiple awards but all of my products like have won multiple awards, including many Best of Beauty awards from Allure, and you know how hard they are to yeah. get. So I'm really proud of them because they're like my little babies. Yeah. Um, and after the vitamin C, then I apply our new serum, which is this retinol alternative serum, which you can apply morning and night. It's gentle. It doesn't cause any redness. So um, tell me, no I, I'm going to sound so dumb. I've never used retinol. And oh. I don't know what it's for. Okay, so retinol is for wrinkles. Okay. And it is like uh, traditionally known as like a chemical treatment for wrinkles to kind of resurface the skin, improve the texture of fine lines, wrinkles, firmness of skin. Um, and that's why I wanted to create a product that basically was certified organic a retinol alternative it's the first certified organic retinol alternative in the world and uh, what's incredible is we specifically tested we did some clinical studies on women who were diehard retinol users like love the retinol and traditional chemical retinol because we wanted to see do they prefer that traditional chemical retinol or our product and where do they get the best results so we documented the whole thing. It was a four-week trial. Mostly retinol trials are done over eight weeks, but we did it over four weeks because with my serum, you can use it morning and night because it's gentle enough. And so we thought, okay, let's see. I want like 
the quicker results and more impactful results. And the before and after photos are incredible with deep fine lines, like completely like minimizing them in the forehead, um, all around here. Um, the lines are incredibly, you just notice a huge difference. The firmness of the skin one was wild on the, this lady's neck. It was like really hanging and then it was lifted oh, wow. after four weeks. And I was like, okay, this is wild. We can't forget our chest and our neck when we're doing our skincare. Yeah. I'm very And so bad I've been using that. that serum morning and night and I just have loved the results that I'm getting. Um, it really, really helps. Also with any kind of scarring that you have. Um, it also helps with acne. The retinols, like in this retinol alternative, we make it with Bakuchi oil, which is a natural alternative that a lot of people use, but we added not only Bakuchi oil, we added alfalfa extract in addition to the Bakuchi oil. And then on top of that, we added acai plant stem cells. So the combination of that makes it actually five times more powerful than traditional retinol on its Ooh. own. So it's working on aging that you currently have already like have like the damaged parts but then it's working with the acai plant stem cells on preventing further aging nice so i just thought to myself why not get this like powerhouse of a product out there with the proven results and show people like you don't need to compromise your health to get really incredible results yeah. like you can be healthy and you know get incredible results for your skin so do you put the oh so i'm still not finished <laughs> <laughs> i'm still not even finished I love with it. my I with my routine okay so then after that serum then i put on either either the active algae moisturizer or the turmeric glow moisturizer moisturizer i have them both there and i love them it's interesting because i thought that i'd always just go 100 percent for the turmeric glow moisturizer because it's like a thicker richer moisturizer mm -hmm. Um, but lately, the Active Algae has been doing it for me, which is more of like a bouncy gel lightweight moisturizer. Mm. So it's like I sometimes what like today I did is I used the Active Algae on my skin. Then I put the Noni Glow Face Oil after that. Um, and then I do the eye cream and the eye oil. Um, but at night, then I'll use the Turmeric Glow Moisturizer because it's like a luxurious rich cream. So you're doing the eye cream and the eye oil in yeah. the daytime? In the day. Oh, okay. Wow. And at nighttime. Okay. And then you put makeup on that. Yep. Yeah. That's what I did okay. today. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then sometimes I gua sha, but I didn't have time to gua sha today because I had to go to another meeting before this and then come straight Do you gua sha like with all your serums on yeah. and then you do makeup or yes. on that day you, okay. Yeah. Okay. And That's like go upwards. Got it. And we have a rose quartz gua sha that we make at Cora. Oh, cool. Yeah. And I actually designed the whole shape of it and the curve of it. Nice. Um, yeah. So anyway, that, so the serum the anti-aging the anti-aging um retinol alternative serum then the um moisturizer today was active algae then the noni glow face oil which we already spoke about then the yeah the eye cream and the eye oil and how do you approach i'm assuming that this is part of it because you talk about health and wellness and inside and outside how do you approach your nutrition from the perspective of like wanting to maintain like the vitality glow. yeah because yeah, i think inside out yeah because i think so many people don't they don't bless them, they don't get that they don't get that the connection you can see on someone's skin when they're not taking care of themselves yeah so are there things that you're like stay away from this or i make sure i have a lot of this in anything i'm eating because it's really good for skin or oh i love yeah. talking about this and i could talk about it forever <laughs> Um, so in the mornings, I like to start my day with water with lemon. So like one whole lemon squeezed in water. I used to do like 32 ounces of water, but now I'm just down to like 16 ounces, like a big glass. Yeah. Because then I have 32 ounces of celery juice, cold pressed every day. Okay. And so you do a whole, a whole lemon. A whole lemon. In water. In water. And that's to ounces. purify, detox, but like what's... It can actually alkalizes your system. Okay. So it's acidic before it goes in once it goes into your system it turns more alkaline okay. and um kind of cleanses and clears out like when you're sleeping and you think you just you're yeah. laying there and yeah. you kind of want to flush the system yeah. a little bit so it kind of does that and then i have the celery juice after which is very alkalizing as well and anti-inflammatory um 
and it's been a game changer the 32 ounces of celery juice every day and, and then that, after that I have this is I mean this is kind of wild I have like three tablespoons of Irish sea moss hmm. is and it then, a powder or it's like it looks like moss. it's a gel oh it's a gel yeah oh okay it's really not tasty <laughs> okay and wait where did when did you get into this um that's more of a recent thing okay um and prior to that I was just doing aloe vera like a shot of aloe vera and then sometimes I mix it with pineapple juice as well but all of these things are just kind of like layering your good gut health Mm -hmm. because actually when I was pregnant with my second child my gut health got a little unbalanced Mm -hmm. and so I had to like really find things that would soothe my digestive system and keep it on track and at one point I even ate purely like vegan, vegetarian for like two years. Oh, wow. Because you were just trying to figure out what was going on or what would make you feel the best. Yeah. Do but you- then but then recently I just did the gut reset program, which includes like bone broth and like meat and whatnot, but kind of staying away from grains um, with Dr. Will Cole. So it's like, but prior to that I was doing um, Anthony William just like very – plant-based everything and the moss where did um what does that do so um a friend of mine oh yeah yeah is it is it is it the juices kez was bringing coffee in oh thanks come on in oh hey hello nice to meet you oh good and then we have a package for you so i can show you Hopefully, I mean, they don't have everything available at Sephora, so we can send you the rest. I think that might be Jan. Who's coffee? Where's your coffee? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. I was like, I think oh, thanks. it would be so unlike him to not. Oh, thanks. I oh, See, I just keep going green. Yeah. <laughs> just one green after another. <laughs> I almost called you babe. That would have been weird. Yeah. <laughs> We've been together a long time, but not that long. Oh my goodness! Wow. Oh, uh, oh, what? Look, this is I've been drinking like Creation for a while, and I um guess what? They have gratitude on their lids, so that is nice. what I have on my bottles. Oh, I have cool. positive words, love, joy, bliss, whatever. Nice. Um, to really amplify the experience, I guess. Yeah. Because everything we think, everything we read has an effect on us on a cellular level. So. Absolutely. Mm. Totally agree. Mm. Um, and gratitude is a really high vibration. Absolutely. But bliss is the state that we all want to be in. I want to be in bliss right now. I mean, let's try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? We're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. <laughs> Drinking our green juice and smoothies. And Which ones do you drink from there? Mm. And will you drink both of these? Like, mm-hmm. is this like if you can't tell, I'm quite big on drinks. <laughs> no, I love my like celery, my, as I was saying, the aloe, um, the sea moss, the, now we've got this one, which is pineapple, cucumber, spinach, romaine, parsley, turmeric. <laughs> There's that turmeric Find again. It. Find its way. Aloe vera, chia seeds, chlorophyll. Um, I just kind of got this because I was on the run today, yeah. whereas at home I would like to make it. Yeah. you know myself but it's it's good to know that you can pick it up absolutely mm-hmm. um are you into it feels like you are so I'm like leading the witness a little bit but kind of experimenting with different, oh yeah 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 I'll, I dig it anything um, for health yeah I'll give it a go so how what's your experimentation process like let's say you were doing the aloe shot mm-hmm. and then you maybe heard about the Irish moss sea moss and so then are you like okay I'll give it six weeks like how do you test new things to see if you're getting the results that you want that's a good question I just kind of add it to my routine so now I've added the Irish sea moss in addition to the aloe got it oh so, okay okay so it's just one more thing it's just one more thing okay I'm no, like oh, okay I dig it I I'm doing it but definitely not at this level so I find it really inspiring and then in, in then coffee which I have a love-hate relationship with coffee so I actually had a coffee this morning, but it was after all of those drinks. But I go through stages sometimes of being off coffee. And yeah. what I do drink then is dandelion. Oh, And dandelion, it kind of has a similar taste to coffee. So when you love the experience and the flavor and you can make like a dandelion cappuccino, 
It's really delicious. Mm. Um, but you're obviously not getting the caffeine hit. Yeah. Um, but it tastes really good and it's a liver cleanser down yeah. the line. So. Oh, I've gone off coffee before. I did it probably six or nine months ago and it's so horrendous at the beginning. But then you feel so amazing. Yeah. And you're like, oh, well, but I love it so much. Yeah. She says as she drinks more coffee. Yeah. Uh, I'm checking out this one. It's got smoothie. So yeah. you do, you have the morning juices. At what point do you allow coffee if you're going to have it? At It'll be point? after I've, okay. after I've like right it. after, do you have to wait a certain amount of time? You or? really should wait like okay. half an hour after okay. you finished all of that. Got it. Yeah. And, um, is that the end of the morning nutritional yeah, um, routine or yeah sometimes after that I may have a banana or I may have like the heavy metal detox smoothie but it depends I might just have that like because I'm trying to give my body what it needs to like flush out and eliminate whatever it needs to eliminate and then still have enough energy so it's either like a banana if I'm on the go or another drink which is like a smoothie which has like um, wild blueberries, it has banana, it has fresh orange juice, it has um, dulse, cilantro. That's like a, that's called the heavy metal detox smoothie on medical medium. Do you change up the nutrition based on where you are in your cycle? Like, do you? I should. I do intuitively. Yeah. Like you know, sort of like I need like this. I feel like yeah. like last night I was like mmm some chocolate almonds yeah <laughs> you're like I need something a yeah. little yeah those like who chocolate almonds I know I love I love like what I love with the brand. sea salt I'm like what it's I am a, addicted I was like how am I eating this whole yeah, bag right it's now all, it's actually better to just not have it in the oh, house but it is such it a so good little good. treat any of those bars are so yummy mm -hmm. it's like the nicest little I never thought I would care about dark chocolate but I just, know I like that brand a lot oh that was so good yum um so so yeah depending on my cycle and then I actually will crave more like of the bone broth or the red meat more like savory things yeah based on yeah that makes sense i generally do like savory things are you aiming at a lot of greens like is there just in terms of thinking through like i know everything care no but i think like through the lens of like the skin and how yeah. it looks and how the idea of being like starting here right yeah. starting with what's going Internally. into your body yeah so is it we're focusing on things that are leaky anti inflammatory and anti inflammatory like turmeric yeah. i cook with turmeric a lot yeah. like every day okay <laughs> is that something you always like when did you get into this or have you always been since you were a little girl and your mom got sick so i yeah so since when my mom was sick we started thinking about it even more and then my nan introduced me to noni juice when i was like 13 as well and i literally was like drinking noni every day I have been pretty much since um since I was 13 and that works on a cellular level to like repair cells so they have sometimes um I've seen the studies where you'll someone will be on noni juice like and you'll see the cells before and they look a little abnormal and then after noni juice for like a month and then you see the cells they're more normal so I thought if it's doing that internally imagine what it would do for your skin yeah and that's why every single Cora Organics product contains Noni. But in addition to that, the super exciting part that I think a lot of people don't understand and they're learning more now um, is that certified organic ingredients have up to 60% more antioxidants than regular ingredients. And because what's the, the difference soil between certified organic and just organic? You know, well, when you're, if it's just organic, it's not certified. So right. it hasn't been through the rigorous process of an outside certification body ensuring that it truly is what it says it is mm. so you can look on the back of every one of my packages and it'll tell you specifically like 99.7 percent of this comes from a natural origin and you know yeah certain percent is water and this percent is certified organic and this percent is natural and it's very transparent and like that's all I wanted for myself and my family and I wasn't able to find it mm. there were products out there that at the time um we looked and they would claim that they were natural or they claimed they were organic. When you read on the back of them, it back then, and I don't know, I'm pretty sure the rules are pretty similar. 
back then you could have just one organic ingredient and call it organic. and then say this yeah. organic lotion yeah but there are rules in california that you're not able to do that which is really great like you have to be at least 70 percent organic uh, okay. to be able to put that in california but the rest around the world like it's a little bit dodgy yeah and there's sure. a lot of greenwashing and that's why we want that certification and that um outside like kind of like big brother looking over everything that we do from manufacturing to our ingredient sourcing to everything um, that we're doing is like looked over and approved by yeah. someone else, even though all of our bottles and packaging have to be approved by them. That's and our, awesome. Yeah. Well, it's, I, a, it's a big auditing process, but it makes it worthwhile in the end. Absolutely. And it keeps everyone like on their toes. Do you feel like when you started it, because it, it's been a while, what did you say, 2009? When I launched, yeah. so 2006 was the concept. Oh wow! Then we did three years of like testing and did playing people around. get it? Like in Australia, I mean, yeah, yeah, <laughs> maybe not so much here, but there yeah. it was much more common to care about to care. the ingredients. Yeah, and did they know get now. It here when you launched, do you feel in like? 2017? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I think they understood um, the importance, like what you put on your skin soaks in, but they didn't understand the full efficacy. So then we like because originally. We obviously um, did all of our like regulation testing and whatnot, but we weren't doing the scientific studies to prove the efficacy. Whereas now we're doing an investing time in the scientific studies to show like the before and after and the clini clinical trials and then the consumer testing, which really shows how powerful these products are. Like there's no BS here. It is just super beneficial for your skin and like your skin is going to thank you for using it and you see the r clear results yeah. so it feels good to help people in a healthy way when you were when uh I, it sounds like i'm making a big switch in direction <laughs> but i'm not i'm gonna tie it in um how old were you when you started modeling oh, i was 13 okay so yeah. were you able to pull the things that you learned from your mom from your nan like were you able to pull those nutritional values those oh. holistic values into that lifestyle with you so what changed for me so what was interesting is when I was about to eat something or whenever I go to the fridge or whenever I would think what am I going to eat I looked at it from like what nutrients am I going to get from this I never thought of like calories or anything I was like what nutrients am I going to get from this so if I eat this what are the nutrients I'm going to get and how's that going to make me feel so I don't want to eat something at the end of the day, really, the majority of the time, unless I know it's going to be beneficial for my body. But then I do say it's really important to have that balance, 80-20. So 80% mm -hmm. you're like focused on the nutrients and then 20% you're like, whoa, enjoy. <laughs> Life is, you know, right, right. you have to enjoy it. Yeah, for and sure. you have to have those moments where you eat the cake yeah. or eat the french fries or eat the really bad indulgence of mine which is fried chicken but every <laughs> but now and then delicious yeah yeah like sure. it's not all the time but it's important for me to really enjoy those experiences mm -hmm. with people like whatever it might be that yeah. and like if you say like say for instance like someone will say come over you know where then they'll say oh do you have any dietary requirements and I'm I'm not going to say, oh, it right. has to be organic <laughs> and please make it plant. I'm like, no, sure, whatever. Like yeah. I like to enjoy whatever people are serving me. So when we're in, you know, in Europe, we'll eat like the pasta and everything and I'll be like, ooh, delicious. Yeah. But like then you know how to like scale it back. And I think at the end of the day, education is key. Yeah. So if you know at the end of the day, like you're going to make healthier choices when you get home, then you can really enjoy yourself a little more Absolutely. and like have that balance in your life. When you do eat, when you are indulgent, do you feel like, cause with me, if I'm, I would, in my own brain, I would sort of call it like eating on plan, like eating in a way that I know I'm gonna feel the best, I'm gonna have the most energy, the least brain fog. Yeah. It's a pretty clean way of eating. But then if I win, cause I totally do, indulge it's almost to the point where it's not worth the indulgence because of how it you feel? wrecks my body mm. and I don't feel like my boyfriend has it. I feel like he bounces back so much easier than I do but I'm just like I'm bloated for like four days and I'm like was this burrito worth, worth it, it? <laughs> um, do you feel like you bounce back quickly or do you feel like it no it hits you hard 
I feel like I bounce back pretty quickly just because I I feel like I put in a lot of work. Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah. And I mean the 80 20 thing is kind of like what I promote, but if I'm really honest, it's probably more 90 10. Yeah. But yeah. so I if I'm like gonna indulge, I'm like, ooh, yeah. yummy. Like and I and I will indulge in a way that's like a little bit, not like a lot. That's the thing. I'm for sure getting that piece wrong. Cause yeah. I'm like, cause it's like, we're going ham. Like yeah. we're here, like we're eating the whole thing. Cause I'm like, oh, this is your one. As if it's the last time I will ever we'll get ever to have it. tortilla chips and guac. Yeah, see? So I need to like, that's a really messed up ideology that I need to like release for myself of like, no, that's not real. Like, like you can have that. Like yes. honestly, what I tell myself is like, whenever I want something, I can have it. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I feel like chocolate. Okay. I'll have a little bite. Yeah. And then you feel like, oh, I don't need any more because if I eat more, then I'm not going to feel so great. Exactly. Instead yeah. of eating the whole bar of chocolate, yeah. you'll have like two pieces. I did. Um, sorry, my brain just jumped as you were talking about yeah, chocolate because no I wanted to ask you this earlier. Do you work out? Yes. And when does that come into your schedule mm-hmm. in the like af- the ju- like are you working out? I guess you wouldn't be fasted because you would have had your juices. But where does that fit in? And so is it every day? Sorry, I'm asking I, I 100 do. questions. No, I do. <laughs> I love to work out. And I think it's key to energy and vitality. And as you're aging, now I just turned 40. I feel like Me working too. out. When's your birthday? April 20th. Oh, January 9th. Oh. Yeah. So 1983? Your, yeah. Yeah. So this is your 40th year. Yeah. How do you feel about it? I love it. Yeah, me too. I feel like com- I'm embracing it wholeheartedly. I'm like, bring it on. Yeah. I'm like, these are... Uh, These are the good years. Oprah said every year she turned a new decade, she'd be like, 40s are the, it's the decade, ladies. This is the one you're going to love. This is the one. 50s are the decade. Like every time Oprah turns a new decade. So I'm trying to channel that energy. I love that. Mm -hmm. And I just, yeah, that's amazing. Um, So I feel like, so I've been a big, so basically if we just rewind, rewind. I've been very active my whole life because I've just, I was a farm girl growing up. So it was like riding horses, running around on the farm. Like you could never just, was climbing trees like you could never kind of yeah get me to be super still like I wouldn't just sit there and watch tv I'd be outside and yeah. I'd love to like run and I'd love to swim and you know so and then I was a gymnast and I was competing as a gymnast like and I loved that and then I got into netball touch football basketball at school and then I got a bit too tall for gymnastics so then I got into yoga then the yoga obsession really has been my anchor throughout my whole life. Cool. Because what I love about it is your, I feel like the mind-body connection is really nice. Mm -hmm. And constantly we're in this mode of just like doing, 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 whereas yoga feels a little more you're in the flow of being. Yes. And that's really good for our adrenals. And that can also help with like, you know, maintaining your kind of like, I don't know, just like maintaining your equilibrium within yourself. Yeah. But lately, and I've, so I've been very much into yoga and Pilates and my whole life. Um, but then uh, lately I've been more into weightlifting, mm-hmm. which I never thought I would be into, mm-hmm. but I love it. Yeah. And also uh, running, which I never thought I'd be into. Have you done a race yet? No. You should. I mean, yeah, with all that time on my hands. <laughs> I know. It is really. <laughs> but it would I, be fun. I believe that every mother especially should run a long distance race. Okay. Because there's something so powerful, and maybe you have this in other experiences in your life, but I think there's something so powerful about doing something that literally nobody can help you accomplish. A runner. Like childbirth? Yes. That, when I ran the LA Marathon for the first time, I thought I was going to die. I was not, I would never have called myself a runner. It was a challenge I made to myself. And my only goal, I didn't care how long it took me, my only goal was I refused to walk. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to run 26 miles and I really thought I'm going to lose it. And in the last like two miles, which felt so impossible, I channeled my oldest son. He's 16. I channeled 52 hours of labor with yeah. him. Yeah. And I was like, bitch, if you, if you can, can go through do that, that, you can run. You can do this. Like, yeah. And so I just, it is one of the most, I would say, giving birth to Jackson and crossing that finish line are two key moments in my life that I tap into all the time. Yeah. So if you like running, mm. it's a gateway. Start with a 5K. Okay. And then you'll be like, okay. And then you'll do a half. And then you'll be an ultra marathon runner and you can say that you got it from me. Thanks. I love <laughs> this. 
So I literally never thought that I would love running. Yeah. And it's, it's really meditative. It is. Yeah. But one day I woke up and I was like, I just want to run. Yeah. This is so weird. Why do I want to run? Yeah. And I was like 39 at the time and here I am. Like, Where am I running? Yeah, that's really <laughs> like, cool. And I got into it and now I just love it. But I do like a run walk, a run walk. Yes, yeah. Like a run So do you change and... up the, do you change up during the week what you're doing? Do you sort of get sick of things and then bring in other stuff? Um, I try to be consistent with like making sure I work out six days a week. Mm -hmm. And then I add the run walk and I'll do like a minimum run walk 20 minutes a day. Yeah. And then I like to do the sauna, mm -hmm. hot and cold, at least if it's just like 10 or 15 minutes super hot and then cold shower so you're doing run walk 20 minutes a day mm -hmm. is that the that's like, kind of like in my schedule and it can fit in most of the time it's after i drop the kids off to school. are you familiar with uh peter atia longevity <sighs> oh i feel like you, you oh, i mean it would take your experimenting with health to like oh, wow, a whole great. other level um where's he from peter atia is i think i don't know where he's from originally but he's based in austin now okay. he's a huge like anybody who's interested in longevity and how to live what about the david best. sinclair I don't know. Oh, I don't see, know. he's a longevity expert. Oh, well. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I mention it because one of his things is that every day you have to do, I think he calls it zone two. So you have to be in a level of cardio for at mm. least 20 minutes. Oh, good. Where you're, um, you Out can still talk, but okay. you don't want to. Like it's, you're right on the edge yeah, of like, you're just like, it's almost too hard. Yeah, you're just like, please don't talk to me right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Like when you're trying to do it and the kids yeah. are like, mom, mom. And I'm they're like, like ah, ah, let me finish. This way. Yeah, yeah. A couple more minutes. Yeah, he has a new book, which I'm forgetting the name of, but it's really, it's really popular. Okay, I need yeah. to write it down. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, it's this. I know because oh. my boyfriend has been methodically working his way through oh, the Oh, I'm whole going thing. through yeah. this. This yeah. is awesome. Yeah. I love learning new yeah. things. But, it's okay, sorry, vibe. I interrupted sorry. you for the millionth time. But oh, I love you're doing, um, so you're getting the run walk in and then you're. Oh, but the, so in the morning, so I'll do a workout before the kids wake up and I have an app, like I have a few different apps. Oh, nice. So um, lately I've been using this app called Crush It um, from Sonata. And what I like about it is it's like a 20 minute kind of weight workout mm -hmm. and I'll do it sometimes too. Or three times. Oh, so I'll okay. do it like, but at the minimum, you can just do it 20 minutes, yeah. like depending on your timing. And so I like to do that in my bedroom just in case the kids wake up. <laughs> right. I'm there. You're like, I got But it. I have my weights there and uh, I use six pound weights for that. And then it's just like a really good way to kind of start your day. Yeah. And then I also um, I have other, um, so between Tracy Anderson or Megan Roop, um, their online programs. I have Ballet Beautiful that I'll do, which is more of like, you know, mat Pilates. I also have like a yoga teacher that sometimes I'll FaceTime with, or I can do it on my own. So There's also you, a Kundalini yoga app that I sometimes do. Do you still go to group classes or is that not, not so a much thing? anymore? Yeah. I used to. Do you miss it or you don't care? No, it's kind of convenient doing it in my room yeah. by myself. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. when I'm like there yeah. for the kids and the time it takes to get to a class and Absolutely. come back, it just, it's just not, it's not necessarily it. like beneficial to my yeah. day. But if I didn't have three kids, maybe that would be great. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> totally. And a business to run. Right, right. And, you know. Um, do you schedule the day, like are the, um, like pulling in work? Because you said oh, that yeah. you guys work from home. Yeah. So, you and I'm getting really granular with your I love someone's oh, yeah. like how do you do what you do um, calendars so are you strict with like what kind of meetings you will take at what time of day like are you like I only want to do a brainstorm in the morning or I only want to do so we have like our set meetings yeah that we have like um in the calendar and I try to work Tuesday Wednesday uh Thursday like those are my like I'll drop the kids off but then, you know, I won't be able to pick them up because those are my work days. But then Monday and Fridays mm -hmm. and obviously the weekend are yeah. with the kids. Yeah. So that's like drop off and pick up. And th then when you have a company, you kind of never really switch off. Yeah, so. for sure. But that's the way that it's supposed to work mm, Yeah. in a way that's more balanced for me because my kids are my number one priority. Right. And my husband, of course. Right. Um, what does the workload look like for you as you're sort of doing all the things you're CEO well, and you're, you know, head busy. dreamer and oh no, it's it. a yeah. lot. I mean, I do feel like 
it's very busy and it is like schedule to schedule to schedule to schedule mm-hmm. to schedule to schedule. To schedule. Yeah. But it, it kind of flows in a way that what I like to do is I'll like map out, like if I can map out as much in the month in advance, it's better. And then the week before I can look at it and be like, okay, maybe move this or move that. And then I don't like to look at it after then. I'll just look at it kind of the night before. Yeah. Yeah. To be like, okay, this is what's happening tomorrow because otherwise I'll get too worried because there's just so much it's always so much. happening. Yeah. So I just should be like, okay, so I'll map it out and then plan it. And then it's really important to put in like travel time or like pick up and drop off time or everything like is timing. Yeah. And I just feel like the world is just moving so fast and our children are growing up so fast. Mm -hmm. So one thing I really try to do even on my work days is kind of make sure that it finishes unless I have an event that it finishes in time so I can do wind down with my kids Mm -hmm. and be there for, you know, um, dinner they have dinner at five and then they have a bath at five thirty, and then yeah <laughs> like in in like closed you know in their bedroom like windows everything shut and like yeah. everything's dark and cozy cocoon like by six and then asleep by six thirty. Mm-hmm. so I make sure that I and we read books and then we sing prayers and you know yeah go to sleep yeah I mean they go to sleep yeah <laughs> and then I have a bit more time to like yeah. depending on what's happening with my husband's schedule and yeah. The schedule is so key. It's so it's key. It's so key. I Time think, management. Yeah, because if you want to be able to accomplish all the things that you're hoping to accomplish in a day or to show up as a mom the way that you want to. Yeah, I, and not I, feel rushed. Yeah, you can't, you really can't leave it to chance. Oh, no. You, it's like, schedule. it's got to. Like I, my schedule's color-coded, my schedule, <laughs> my husband's schedule, the kid's schedule. Yeah, yeah, I have multiple calendars. Yeah. And I think. You know, I have talked about this schedule for my kids a lot over the years and people would always be like, oh, it just feels so intense. And I'm like, oh, no, it's so important to have a It's important to have a routine. And they need to know. Oh, um, they love it. They feel safe. Like when my exactly um, when I got divorced years ago, that was so crucial for them was knowing exactly what What to expect all the time, where they would Mm -hmm. be, who would be there Mm -hmm. so that they didn't have to feel worry about. What Anything. was coming right, next. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I'm, well, that's I'm what my grandma way. told me. She literally told me when I was pregnant, I remember with Flynn, she said, it's really important that you have a routine, like a consistent routine with him. I know you're traveling, you're working and whatnot, but try and maintain a routine. And it was interesting because it wasn't until I had my second child that it really sunk in how true that was yeah. because my first child was kind of very – go with the flow and whenever he was with me. I mean, when you have one, it's kind of Mm -hmm. like that. And I do hear that about the first child. Yep. A lot. Yep. But then my second child, it was like, whoa, where did (laughs) he come from? Yep. I literally took my second son to the pediatrician at six weeks old and I was bawling. And I was like, there's something wrong with this baby. Like you have, I don't know. He won't sleep. (laughs) He's like fussy. And the doctor was like, oh no, no, no. This is normal. Yeah. The first baby, he's the freak. Like yeah. that's not a normal that's baby. Not normal. And those firstborns that are easy, they <gasps> really trick us. They really do. <laughs> you like I was like, hold on a second. Yeah, I thought I was such on. a good mother. Um, yeah. It's like, no, your <laughs> what baby's happened? super easy. Yeah. Yeah, but by the way, my uh just turned five year old on the weekend. He is amazing now, but he was my second child and he was um definitely very a different experience to my first child. He was a little more yeah, like just didn't want to sleep yeah. and didn't want to be as flexible mm-hmm. uh, with, you know, everything. He it's, was like, no, this yeah. is my way. I yeah. need it to be done this way. It's pretty wild. And how, the routine helped a lot yeah, with him. It is. Cause it's like this, nope, we're gonna, we're gonna get it, man. We're going to just keep yeah. doing the same thing until you understand until you feel this is our life. And, yeah. 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 And now he loves it. Loves the routine. Are there anything, is there anything that you do when you're traveling for your nutrition, for your skincare, that counterbalances the travel? Like, are there any great tips with, because you, I'm sure, I, I mean, mean, have traveled. I, travel I can't even like imagine crazy. the frequent flyer miles you're rocking. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we offset all of our flights. So yeah. that's also very important. And nice. actually, Core Organics is a carbon neutral brand. Cool. We're carbon neutral certified. So very we cool. offset everything we do. And actually, I was one of the first to introduce the refill pods that you twist in and out. And I was very proud of that. I literally sat there with the manufacturer and was like, 
I want to create this jar that you put in a little pod that's like a little coffee pod that's fully recyclable. Oh, and you, smart. You twist it in and out yeah. and then you just have this beautiful jar that you just buy the jar once and right. the refill pods right. thereafter. And they were like, oh, genius. Yeah. Next thing you know, everyone's copying <laughs> me. But it is better for the environment, yes. so it's better for everyone. Um, anyway, where were we? Travel. Travel. So when we travel, I actually do bring my juicer with me um, because I just feel like... I need my celery juice. Yeah. That's like a non-negotiable. <laughs> and my husband thinks I'm mad. I'm like, I'd rather have my celery juice than like more shoes. Yeah. Like I'll just take, you know, one pair of shoes if I can take my celery juice. Yeah. yeah. Um, and depending on like how long we're going for or where we're going. But that's something that I like to travel with. What else? Um, obviously my skincare. And once I get on the plane, I clean my skin. And um, that minty mist is a lifesaver the Noni Glow face oil and the turmeric moisturizer. Oh, and the sleeping mask. I forgot to tell you about that. Okay, that is yes. a game changer. Yeah, tell me about that. So the sleeping mask is like one of my key secrets. It's got natural hyaluronic acid in there and it just like locks in everything and then it dries as a translucent veil. So mm. it doesn't like stay like jelly-like and rub off on your pillow. It literally dries and locks in everything that you've already put on your skin. So you can do your full skincare routine, then apply the serum, the, um mask. sleeping mask and then it just like keeps it all and then you wake it up in the morning and you clean your skin you're like oh i'm so like dewy nice and then you know why nice because it's that sleeping mask and i keep that next to my bed so do you put that on you, a flight you, you yeah, yeah on the flight it's nice. amazing nice mm -hmm. okay so we're staying hydrated mm -hmm. we're drinking our celery juice another thing i do when i get to a new place i try to go outside and get the kids to go outside take their shoes off and put their feet in the grass yeah get a little sunshine in their hands like like just to reset to that yeah. time zone yeah depending on how long we're going to be there yeah if we're not there for very long I try to keep them on the sim more similar time zone yeah to what they had like sometimes if we go to Paris and it's just for a week or 10 days I'll try to keep them a little more on LA time yeah um just so they don't have to tr like have such a big transition back Adjustment. and forth absolutely um and there are they in school yet? Or oh not? yeah. Oh okay. Okay. Yeah. But how your preschool? Okay, preschool. Yeah. So that's so kindergarten. Kindergarten yeah. starts in you know September. Yeah. All right, how are you, how are you feeling about that? Excited. Okay, good. Because good. my um, twelve year olds went to the same school, and then my husband went to the same school. Oh, cool. So I feel like a very good connection with the school that they go to, and nice. And it it just feels right. So yeah, cool. Then he's excited about it. That's important. Mm -hmm. And That's he a knows key. a couple of kids that are going to be there. And we've had like a couple of like play dates at the school. So he's really happy. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, going into summer, yeah. going into sc summer, which sometimes changes our skin and what's happening. Are there anything or is there anything that you're like, hey, as you go in for listeners who are thinking like, OK, you've given do. us a ton of advice. Yeah. Is there anything for that? Oh, there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing I think is really important to prep your skin is exfoliating so we have an incredible the turmeric exfoliating scrub for your face yes. we have for your body as well oh nice! and it makes your body tingle all over you can you know do it to yourself or you can do it to your partner it's quite nice <laughs> like you know what I mean like yeah. scrub their, their yeah. body in the shower you know why not um, and then we have an incredible self tanner mm. um, that's all natural, certified organic. Nice. Yeah. Um, this is a random question. And the body oil. Uh, but the body I, I'm not a huge fan of self tanners because I don't like the smell. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, great. Ours smells like lavender. No way. It doesn't smell like self tanner. And it gives you, it's a gradual tan. So yeah. it's not like you've suddenly, I like super bronze. Yeah. It just, you apply it like three days and then you'll get the color that you like and Ooh, nice even you can put it on your face oh okay i yeah. want to check that out definitely. yeah i'll send it to you okay yeah that'd yeah. be great um, um did you say that there i thought it would be cute if there oh, are yeah. products there you should because we have the video you should like show you what they are yeah 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 let me see here Oh yeah, so this is, so this is what, oh, she, they're videoing. <laughs> Don't worry. So, as I said, I, sorry. 
as I was saying, I did have your little bag, but then I came straight from another appointment and came straight here. So um, we popped by Sephora They're and got so you sweet. what they had available. Their foaming cleanser was sold out, but we do have the little mini turmeric scrub. Oh, nice. Okay. So not a big one, but they had the mini available. Now, let's see here. See, mind, body, skin. Ooh, and this is the little one that so I, I said um, that you can use and your partner can use. This is what my husband and I use. That's the like two in one scrub, which nice. is amazing. You okay. will see instant results. Awesome. Um, this is our newest plant stem cell retinol alternative Ooh, serum. Ooh, okay. I get to try that. Yeah, it is incredible. It's beautiful as well. So you can have a little routine here. This is the Noni Glow face oil. Oh, good. I'm glad. I, that one I'm I'm pretty excited about. Yeah. This is really good for any dry skin conditions. Anyone who has like eczema, rosacea, psoriasis. Yeah, I have get, rosacea. See? So, yeah. This is going to yeah, help. I'm very excited. This is like a game changer. I think you will be addicted. Cool. Any sensitive skin, super, super nourishing and helpful. Let's see what else we have in here. We have... The turmeric glow moisturizer. Ooh, I'm getting hooked up. And this was, this is Katy Perry's favorite moisturizer. She made me do an Instagram live because she wanted to tell the whole world how obsessed she was with this. That's cool. And she was like, she's tried every product out there, and she was like, this gives me the glow that I need. It doesn't make make her break out because mm -hmm. she had like, you know, acne prone skin, and she wanted to have the glow. Nice. This is like her favorite and she's obsessed so awesome. there we go i'll be just like katie perry just like katie perry and we have the eye cream here and the eye oil oh gosh you guys thanks. so so the eye cream i'm just unpackaged yeah. them all for you you're unboxing and also I'm explain unboxing. to me how to put them on properly yes so this is the little refill pod so same with the turmeric moisturizer so you buy the glass jar once and then the refill pods thereafter. Cute. So you just pop That's them in so and out. That's so smart. And so we, you know, made a few products incorporating this. And then so you actually, come on. Let me just put this on there properly. Oh, there you go. So what you do is you just open it. Do you want me to open yeah, it? Yeah, sure. So you open it like this. And I'm, I'll make sure that I don't put my fingers in your jar i can use this and then you just put a little of the cream okay just like kind of pat it in mm -hmm. around the eye area i might as well make it easy <laughs> get both sides yeah and they have different ingredients um this is the vitamin c eye cream so it's like really potent um, vitamin c and then this is the noni glow eye oil and the eye oil has a rose quartz rollerball. Mm. And it has um, in there a natural retinol alternative called Kahai oil. It has um, tomato extract, coffee extract in this one. So the layering of them both are serving like different purposes. And some people are addicted to both. Some people pr have a preference over one one over the other, oh, but I it. use them both, okay. and I like to use the cream, and then the eye oil over the top. But that's the rose quartz rollerball there. Got it. And then you feel it. I don't want to put it on my yeah. eyes, but that because this is going to be yours. <laughs> and then do you put it in the same spot? Yeah. Or you put it all around. I do all around. Oh, okay. Like up here too. Yeah. Up okay. there. Okay. Yep. All right. And you use that morning and night. Both of them morning and night. Nice. The little eye oil. And the eye cream. Nice. I'm so excited. Yeah. But they work on like helping smooth the fine lines and wrinkles and and just hydrate the area. I actually need a new serum for rosacea. So I'm excited. That's this. Yeah. Yeah. Because I just started trying. Um, oh, what is her name? And we'll. Um, May. What's it? It's a skincare thing. And she's like, so, oh, God. I don't know. Uh, I thought you might know. Um, and it feels really lovely. It was, it does. I mean, it's. And has it, have you noticed a difference? I don't feel like it's touching the red. No. I feel like it's really keeping everything super moisturized, which is mm. nice, mm. but it's not, it's just like super moisturized red skin. So I'm like, oh. okay, this is not going to work. Well, this could help. Yeah, I'm excited really? to try. Really? Yeah. 
this is so fantastic. Yay. Thank you for hanging out with me and talking about nutrition and health and skincare and all the stuff. Thank and you. And geeking out over yeah. all of it with me. And we're both like 83. Yeah. It's our 40th year. Yes. Anything can happen. Love this. Um, for people who are listening and want to grab a skincare, learn more, like tell us where we can go to find out about Cora. So coraorganics.com. And then obviously all social medias, Cora Organics or Miranda Kerr. Um, and they can go to Sephora. We're also in Goop. Cool. And yeah, there you go. Yeah. But we're in actually Sephora worldwide. So that's a good one. Or coraorganics.com. We ship to over 160 countries. Cool. And yeah. we're all going to start drinking celery juice now. That's right. <laughs> okay, Health as well. <laughs>